We're gonna take out like main caps, the crank, pistons, and hopefully we're also gonna put it back together with no complications. We're gonna hone the cylinder real quick to clean out some surface rust and then throw it back together with a new re rig kit, main bearings, rod bearings, and piston rings. It's gonna be nice. Also went ahead uh, with a punch and uh, marked all the main caps and the direction they're in so we know how they're gonna sit again. That doesn't look half bad actually. This one is a little bit worse, we can see some copper uh, coating and stuff but not bad. It's actually just look under one of the main caps and they are still original FOMO Co. Baron. Yeah, probably 50 years old or something, right? Considering that, they're actually pretty good shape I would say. These are gonna be some top ones to get off. Highway, she's harder than nine kinds of hell. So we got all the pistons out except one. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, over here. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, main bearings, rod bearings and stuff like that down here. Uh, uh, like the surfaces on the rod looks good. As you maybe can see over here, like the, the bearings are not terrible, but they want foods like the, the, the copper coating or whatever. Basically what I'm gonna do here is just tap the bolts a little bit. There we go. Piston is out and all these pistons ring and all these piston rings Except like two or three pistons as you can see here the piston rings are just stuck inside like the piston So we're definitely gonna have to clean these these pistons out. They do have a little bit of surface rust Honestly, it's not bad because they was coated in oil anyway, so New rings definitely gonna be a good idea and compression rings are completely stuck, but uh, other than that, it looked pretty good, pretty okay. Not a lot of scarring down the skirts and stuff, so. Next step is gonna get the, the crank out, and uh, it seems like the rear cap is really stuck on there, because we have these like weird FE uh, rubber gaskets that go in between, and then you hammer like a pin in so it expands or whatever. I don't know, some crazy thought stuff going on here. So now we got all the, the, the power pumpers out, or the pistons, or the round thing that makes the car go room room, you know? You know, is we're gonna get this power twister majiga thing out. So enjoy me exploding my back out here. That was actually not that bad. The Pontiac engine was way worse. So next step is gonna get the honing tool out and then we're gonna start to clean up the cylinders and stuff. So guys, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna hone out the cylinders because, you know, surface rust and stuff like that. So we, we can't use that and we gotta break in the new piston rings and stuff. So what we're gonna do, use this really good brand new ATFRL for, for lubrication. Great, yes, I definitely recommend. I haven't even used it yet, so yep, great. And over here what we got is a normal honing tool, whatever with, I think, the finest grit. Uh, on the stones. I do also have some other stones down here. I might gonna try, but I don't know. We're just gonna it's go with these ones. Ride me down easy, Lord. Ride me on down. Leave world in the dust. Update! So even though you can see like... What the fuck was that? I don't know. So even though you can see like the rust on the top of the cylinders, like colored and stuff, you can't feel it at all with your fingers or nails or anything. It's completely smooth. It's just like discoloration of the cylinders or something. I, I don't know. Do we care? No, we don't. Throw in the pistons, my dudes. Next thing we're gonna do right now is pistons. Pistons have been rusted because they've been sitting in the rusty cylinders with the rusty water and stuff. So they are stuck in there, solid. So we would never be able to start this engine up uh, anyway. Well, that cylinder ring just broke loose. Well, nice. So basically what I've been doing right now on these dry ones, uh, knocking the ends with a, like a chisel, so you break them loose, like the, the old rust and stuff like that. And then when I remove them, we just kind of bend one piece off, and then you can take the other piece off. Break them in half, basically. 
So right now I'm in the middle of doing uh, the pistons. So basically, I got all the rings laid out here. Uh, all rings and the locking rings for the all ring right there. Third groove, top groove, second groove, whatever. And everything is marked. And of course, the whole old dilemma of, oh, you should clock your rings and blah, blah, blah. Not really looking into that, because as soon as the engine turns over, the rings turns around inside the cylinder anyway. I don't care, it's an old truck engine, so we're just gonna throw it on. By the way, clean the pistons up. They look pretty decent, pretty okay. Got a little pit, got a little bit of pitting on the on the top side, but you know that's how it is. This guy was probably running like 38 degrees down the drag strip and like just barely ignition, knocking on the pistons here, like self detonation and stuff. He was getting it. He was getting the bread that day. God damn. And there we are. A piston together with new rings, all rings and everything, ready to go, just need new rod bearings, just seven more to go. <sighs> you four cylinder guys have it easy. So we are now ready to uh, drop in the crank. We're gonna put in the new main bearings, we're gonna put some grease on it, and then we're gonna drop it right in. And the uh, new main seal in the rear, and uh, also the weird FE like pin seals. These weird licorice looking things with the metal pins, I don't know, stupid seal, but the FE got those. There you go, all cylinders clean. And now it's time to put in the power pumpers. Time to install lost hits. There we go, time for the other head. Going on. It is time to torque the heads, guys. So, I'm all greasy and dirty and uh, it's getting late and I'm gonna try to throw this video up for you guys today. And uh, right now, got the hits on. Also put in the, the baffle thing right here and the timing chain cover. And now we're pretty much ready to just start reassembling in and cleaning stuff off. As soon as it's like completely back together, we're gonna grind everything down and try to clean it up. And then we're gonna give it a good old Ford Blue, engine blue. Dark blue, whatever, it's gonna be blue. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe down below and also don't forget to put on post notifications if you guys don't wanna miss any videos uploaded to this channel. So uh, see you guys in the next one, I guess, where we're gonna put the rest of this thing together.